Good morning, everyone. Um, I'll just take a few minutes here to introduce the critical care program. My name is Uta Kravchan and I'm the uh, program head. And uh, with uh, respect to what critical care is, I, I think we really made a name for ourselves with the pandemic. But uh, overall, this is a fairly dynamic and fast paced uh, environment. Patient acuity is often um, rapidly changing. Um, critical care is an umbrella term for a variety of specialized critical care areas, uh, such as your generic uh, intensive care unit, various coronary care and cardiac care units, cardiac surgery, uh, intensive care, and uh, post-anesthetic care. And it is a highly specialized um, environment where you know, patients and families are at the core of uh, the care, and so um, to be providing care to families and patients um, during uh, life-threatening illnesses and supporting their journey. And uh, it is a highly interdisciplinary team environment. So um, technical skills, excellent communication skills, um, critical thinking skills and dedication to that uh, environment is, uh, is highly needed. And this is what we teach you as well in the program. And um, in terms of who this program is intended for, so for practicing registered nurses, as Kathy mentioned, ideally, you know, six months of experience, but we are starting to see new grads coming in as well through one of our pathways. And um, six months of experience, ideally, in a medical surgical kind of an environment would be best suited to prepare you for this program. Also for our undergraduate uh, nursing students taking their BSN, um, they can take the first two courses of our program, uh, 7120, uh, which is our first uh, critical care theory course, and 7150, which is our ECG interpretation course. Um, and again, you gotta have that passion for working with uh, you know, highly acute and dynamic patients and uh, working with families as well. And it can be a fast paced uh, technology sort of oriented environment. In terms of program overview, um, we kind of mentioned already that there's all these various um, specialties within critical care. So you've got your uh, intensive care units ranging from um, a community or rural or a more remote area, all the way to a tertiary level ICU, where you would provide um, you know, highly specialized trauma care as an example. We've got our various coronary care units um, and cardiac care units. Patients that undergo cardiac surgery end up in the intensive, in the cardiac surgery intensive care unit. Um, and then the post anesthetic care unit as well is where we recover patients after having surgery. So uh, critical care certification is needed for that area as well. This is a little bit about the uh, program uh, overall. So we've got a total of seven courses. Five of our courses are theory courses and two courses are clinical courses. And uh, clinical is completed uh, depending on which pathway you choose to be in the program and where you are in, um, in the province or even in the country. It may be a preceptorship or an instructor-led um, type clinical, and you get a total of 250 clinical hours in a tertiary uh, level intensive care unit. And our theory courses focus on a you know, variety of illnesses uh, and pathophysiologies that we often see in critical care. Also gives you the foundation for all the um, monitoring skills and abilities that you would need in critical care, like ECG interpretation, assessments, um, you know, cardiac uh, pathophysiology, sepsis, trauma, things of that nature. And um, if you're taking the program part-time, you'd uh, be chipping away at these courses at your own pace, or otherwise you could be a sponsored um, student who would go on a, on a separate pathway to take these courses. And uh, ultimately at the end of our program, um, we are basically building strong and confident um, novice critical care uh, nurses with sort of the skills and abilities, and most importantly, the clinical judgment um, skills you would need to care for a critically ill patient. And from there, you would further sort of work within your cho chosen specialty um, to get better and develop any further specialized skills in that particular specialty.
And here's one of our um, clinical groups. Here's a, a clinical instructor with three students. And this is a group uh, that we had in the cardiac surgery ICU. So I'll give you a second here to read through their testimonials. And lastly, my contact information. So feel free to, to email me and uh, include our program assistant as well, Jana. Happy to take any questions.